So welcome back to the Church of Cheddar. Um, you may not have noticed this stone or may not have read it, but it's right at the front of the church. It is in honorem Beata Maria Virgine Apostolorum Regine, in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of Apostles, on the eighth day of May in the year 1965, the Reverend James Mayer did this, Poswit put this here. So this is the foundation stone of Cheddar Church, 1965. What I want to have a look at today is, again, the statue of Our Lady, which you saw the other day and had that meditation in front of. But then as we sweep round, we sweep round the church, you can see that at the back of the church, underneath the window, that there is a painting which hopefully will come into view soon. Let's see, there we go, there we go. So the painting is a painting of Our Lady on the day of Pentecost, which is coming up soon, surrounded by the Apostles. Of course, the Feast of Our Lady, Queen of Apostles, is kept in between the Feast of the Ascension and also the Feast of Pentecost. So there she is, second image of Our Lady, in this church dedicated to her. Then as we go to one side, we can see that there is here a banner. The banner is a banner of Our Lady Queen of Apostles. Let's see if I can go in. There we go. Queen of Apostles. As we sweep down again, then you can see this here. This is where the image of the Sacred Heart is that I spoke about the other day on Tuesday, but we're not thinking about the Sacred Heart today, but just to remember that this was carved, one of the last carvings, in fact the last carving of Dom Hubert van Zeller, the famous monk carver at, at, um, at Downside. So we're up to three principal images of Our Lady here in the church. As we go to the front, we'll see what I want to look at today, which is, rather fittingly, under the Station of the Cross of the Descent of our Lord being taken off the cross and placed into the arms of his afflicted mother, we have here the other piece of artwork by Hubert van Zeller in this church, and this is the Pieta. This is the same thing depicted as we have in the station above it, the third image of Our Lady. Rather like what we have in our houses, that you never have just one picture of the people who you love. So for Our Lady, we never have just one image of her. If we possibly can, we have as many as possible. And this is a beautiful moment when she receives the dying Christ into her arms. As I said on Tuesday, these aren't the, the best works of Van Zeller. But by this time, he was an old man and his ability had gone. Everything becomes a little more difficult when you get old, but you can still see in the extraordinary movements, look at that, of the, of the emaciated legs of our Lord. And there in the, in the face of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you can just see there, if I, you can see there the sadness that there is. And again, you can see the marks of the nails in our Lord's feet and also in his hands. This image of the Pieta is an image of untold beauty. It is something which I ponder every time I conduct a funeral, every requiem I say. And I'll often say to families, we ask for the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary because she knew what it was like to hold her dead son in her arms. This moment, this is the moment when she does it. Showing us not only the humanity of Christ, which of course we pondered in the Sacred Heart, a vision given to St. Margaret Mary Alacoc, but here the love of a mother and her son, that 
bond of love that she has for him and which we know that he has for all of us and which by extension she has for us. In this Church of Our Lady, Queen of Apostles, with these images of Our Lady, we are reminded over and over again of that very simple relationship, the relationship of a mother to a child. Perhaps our relationships with our own mothers were fantastic, perhaps not. It doesn't matter. On the cross, Christ gave his mother to us, that we could look after her and defend her, and so that she, with a mother's love, would look down upon us, and with her eyes and face of love, would always be there to care for us, to seek us, to find us, and to love us.